sound test room. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today, we're going to take a look at Rhythm Necklace. Now, Rhythm Necklace is just a beautiful thing. Look, it looks like it looks like uh, OLED almost. It's lovely. It's lovely, and it's easy to use, and it's a lot of fun. Now you can do some very, very cool stuff with this. So stick around, and you'll see some super, super cool stuff we can do with this. Okay, so first of all, it's like a geometric um, rhythm type thing. So instead of we've got these circles, yeah, uh, called necklaces, and if you can imagine, like there's um, eight of those, yes. And we can change the amount of them all the way up to 32, 30, 34. Okay, so let's take it back down to eight. So you can imagine that that's like a eight. Put, so if we go, if let's no, let's do it different. Let's go like this. Let's go like that and like that. Okay, so let's uh, just start that off. you can import so you can just go like this see that and you'll see before you let go what you're going to end up with what shape so we can be an odd there's odd see and then here we can shift our rhythm which is also very 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 cool and then these four we can add more change some of the, the internal sounds here so we have internal sounds now the, the sounds will change the same for each one so you can't have different sounds on each one but don't don't go anywhere because I'll show you how you can okay so it's very cool so there we go so it has a couple of basic sort of sounds and then we have kits this one let's see let's go back to our thing let's let's stop getting a bit weird here let's put more in now it starts to sound really strange Now what we could do now is you see you have these controls along the top here. This one will flip it to the other side. Okay. And then you'll have an invert, so it'll just go it these will go back to these three now. So you're just inverting. And then you you can shadow. See? It's very cool. And we can transform our pulses. This will take you back, so it's an undo, 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 undo. 
and then clear. Okay, so you get the basic idea of that there. The evenness. So we have 100% evenness. And what we can do is we can start to see, make it uneven. And we could do this with the same for any we had. So we can make it even or completely uneven. There, see? Okay, so you understand that. And this here is the note count. So we're adding more, more notes in as we go and then we can start to alter things this way so at this point you think yeah this is this is nice and it's interesting you know you're going to learn a lot about different types of rhythms polyrhythms just straightforward rhythms I mean, we could set up uh, basically just a, 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 a drum. So if you could imagine, like, we could set up a drum kit, no problem, bass, snare, what's it? And we could have the bass, snare, hi-hats, and whatever else, little bits of percussion and stuff you wanted to add there. Okay, so so obviously play stop, and, and there's a metronome as well. Uh, well, it's not metronome, actually, it's just the speed, so we could speed it right up. Or slow it right down. So it goes from 40, which is very slow, To into the high 200s here, into 200. So we'll stick with this. So, and then we'll get to the gear icon here. Now, this is where you can lay load sessions that you stored. I have a couple there. You can save your session, you can save it as, so you can overwrite the session, obviously, and you can save it as a new session. We have a quick start guide here and about. And it's 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 by Miro O'Reilly and Sam Tarach. Taraka Hian, and I'm, Sam, I'm really sorry if I've pronounced your name wrong, but you can see and you can go to their website there, which is very nice and explains all about different things. So I'm going to put a session in an idea called RC, which is for Roland Sound Canvas. And here it is. Dead basic stuff. And let's... I won't go through the whole thing here, but and I'm not going to bother trying to turn it around because I'll need to do that in a bit anyway. But the point here is that you, with Sound Canvas, uh, it's it's nice to use this. This will send MIDI off to Rhythm Necklace. Okay, so you can have four different sounds, and you can of course do this with any other app that will send your MIDI information off. But Sound Canvas is great because it's already there. So there are your channels here, sort of thing, and you'll see that I've got different things. I've got some different instruments set up in the um, first four channels there. Now, the, 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 this is great for doing this because um, if you just hit one here, you can see that in in my first part one there, in channel one MIDI, I've got this, and then in channel two MIDI, I've got this, and then channel three, I have that. And in channel four, I have this. Now you can set up 16 different channels and change those from within Rhythm Necklace as well, which I'll also show you. So let's go back to Rhythm Necklace here. So there's our there's our internal sounds playing. Okay, so if we go down to the, uh, the, the get over to the menus here, and we go scroll down, and we can see we can sync it to an external clock or send MIDI clock data out as well. Well, we just switch this over to MIDI now and go back. This will now trigger Sound Canvas, which is very cool. So that one's a bit loud, yeah? So we just double tap there and we can set our envelope now. If I had something, now this will be a piano, because piano was the next default in Sound Canvas, obviously, for Channel 5 and so and on and so forth. So let's um, go back to this. Let's do something interesting. with the
right. So you now see that it starts to get really interesting, especially when you can mix and match all sorts of different cool sounds from sound canvas or any other midi app synths, triggering, bang, 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 and all the rest of it. Okay, so, but just as a thing, let's just go back to this one. We'll tap that. This is also very cool. My dog going mad in the background. I'll just turn this down. See, we can take it down. Sorry about that. When people knock at the door, the dog goes bananas. <laughs> So you can see that we can now take that down. Now, now we've built up this pattern. This is great. This is the other very cool thing we can do. So now we can control it with MIDI, but we can send MIDI off. So we can export our MIDI file. So that's what we're gonna do now. So we're gonna take this, and we're gonna go export MIDI. And I'm gonna do this, and uh, I'm gonna, no, got to choose one first, there it goes. And then I'm going to email it to myself. So, right. Now just let me, for this now, I'm going to, just look. Oh my god. Email. Export. Email. Oh, it's not doing it now. <laughs> Export MIDI. Share MIDI files by email. Oh, I did it earlier. I must be doing something wrong, hang on. Is it because? Yeah. Do you know why that is? Because I expo <laughs> I've i just exported that file to test, to test it works. Anyway, so we'll send it to me. So we'll send it to the sound test room. And uh, it's just one measure, and won't send. Sorry about that, guys. So what we'll do is, we'll turn this around now so we can see what we're doing. Um, and that now do we? That's it. Oh, this looks okay. Let's see if I can balance it up a little bit. Right. So let's open um, Gmail and primary me. And there it is. There test MIDI. Right. So just tap on that. We can click open in, open in Cubasis. This is great, I love this, this is great. It makes life dead easy and a lot of fun. So okay, so we don't need to create a new product because I've already done that. So we go MIDI, let me get rid of those. And there it is, there, there's my the things that I've just uh, exported. So I just exported test, but I wanted to export RC, which is gonna be slightly different than the one you just did because I've messed with it and didn't save it as a new file. So, because it was the last one and I sent it, already thinks I've sent it, okay? So, let's load in this uh, RC one. Okay, so double tap, and great. And there's the very, very cool thing, is it exports your MIDI file as separate files that you can now just sounds within um, Cubasis or any other MIDI program. So, for instance, let's just loop this around for a sec. So, that's all piano, obviously. So, let's... Um, Select number two here, acoustic piano. Let's go and let's start. Let's just do, choose some percussion. So without going on and on and on and on, you can see that it's very, very cool. 
very easy to get your um, files and stuff. And it's a lot of fun. Looks brilliant. I really like the look of this. I think it looks really nice. Let's see if I can balance that back up again before we go. Okay, so there you go. So you get a couple of um, startups. Take that down a bit. Change. See, it's running through the different menus now in inside. Uh, Actually, where's it getting its MIDI from? Cubasis. There you go. <laughs> anyway, you get the point. So there it is, Rhythm Necklace. Awesome. Loads of fun. Control over your envelopes as well. Volume and stuff. Do all the cool stuff with the flipping and the transforming and the evenness. and oh, Yeah. So you can build up some very, very complex rhythms set it up in another app like sign canvas which is really cool for all oh, key basis and then just uh bang it out over into anything you want all right guys hope you've enjoyed this and and uh yeah it's nice to see all the mistakes and faults but they that the reason why the email wouldn't work is because i just just previously emailed it to check it all worked out all right guys hope you've enjoyed this uh if you liked it, like the video, visit thesandtestroom.com uh, with me, Colin and Jacob. We'll try and answer any questions you have. Me, don't ask me. And, uh, yeah, have a good day. See you later.